back to my channel! In today's video, very excited, um, in today's video we are looking through the results of me being poorly last week and cheering myself up via the retail therapy method. May have gone a little overboard, but you know, what else is new? Um, so, I sort of went shopping, I got lots of goodies, so I thought I would share them with you and, uh, you know, do a good old beauty haul. I haven't filmed a haul for ages. Oh, just nearly dropped it. That would have been upsetting. So let's just crack on, shall we? Before we do, though, please make sure you are already subscribed. Why would you not subscribe? It's fun. You can laugh at me freely. I don't mind. It's fine. I understand. And it's completely free. Free entertainment, people. Come on. Also, I would like to apologise for the lack of makeup. However... My skin will not appreciate it if I put on a full face of makeup to then just take it off again to then put more on because I do want to play with some of the stuff in this here box or goodies. So just deal with it. There you go. Just deal with it. It'll be alright. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right. So we've basically got a bundle of goodies from Revolution and from NYX as well. So We'll just go through it. We'll just chuck it all together in one mahoosive beauty haul. And we'll just, we'll just go from there, shall we? <laughs> what shall I do first? I'll do NYX first, because whenever I can't decide something, I always go alphabetical. So let's just do that. Okay. All right, first of all, in this ear box of NYX goodies, um, I got this. How beautiful is she, for a start? I mean, that's just unacceptable, quite frankly. All right, first out of the box are these two absolute beauties. And um, if you know me at all, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with the NYX lip oils to the point where I have multiple lip oils around the place. I've got one in my handbag, I've got one in my bedside cabinet, I've got one in the car. And oh my God, if I lose one, which really annoyingly I do regularly, it is full panic mode um you may or may not know i get my lips done i get filler in my lips only a little bit um and one of the things that you need to do when you've got lip filler is keep your lips really 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 hydrated because it helps them be plumper and just helps the filler last a bit longer so i have found these to be the absolute best lip hydrating products around um and i think now i've got these two i think i've got the whole collection might be a bit excessive but there we go i bet it won't show on camera they give the best like glossy oily but not too much your hair doesn't stick to it um, and the different colors have got a very subtle like shift to them almost so there's like the holographic one there's a there's just um, a clear one there's a bluey one there's a purple there's a pink so yeah i'm well excited i was going to get them out but i just know it won't show up so i've got this pinky one which is called carnival ride and i've got this bluey purple just fantastic number called get spun so yeah very excited for those <laughs> so the whole reason i got onto nyx in the first place and i think this was the start of of my kind of makeup um obsession definitely was the start of being interested in it more and then discovering revolution was like just the nail in the coffin that was it i've never looked back since but the whole reason I got into NYX, or I discovered NYX, was through watching RuPaul's Drag Race because I think they sponsored it at the season I started watching it on or that it was like one of the prizes or something. Um, and then, oh my God, the liquid suede. <gasps> if you're into a matte liquid lip that doesn't budge, that doesn't dry out, that has got the best colour payoff ever, go and get a NYX liquid suede. So then they've also brought out the metallics into the liquid suede range. Oh, whole new ball game. So then I've gone and got this one, which is called Acme. I mean, just look at him. He is beautiful. So I would probably say that she kind of raspberry red kind of dealy bopper. Um, but yeah, the finish on these metallics is incredible cannot wait and it's actually quite nice to find one that i don't already have because that collection is just ridiculous it's huge um then i went and got another one of the liquid suede metallics and this is more of your kind of pinky red um and this one is called buzzkill i love the names 
beauty product names just amuse me no end. They're brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. And I love a punny one as well. Um, so yeah, I love that one. So I've got a bit more of a red one and a bit more of a pink one. I love it! I do, however, have a very shiny forehead. <laughs> Maybe I should have put a mattifying primer on before I sat down with no makeup. <laughs> Blinding everybody. Um, right, so then I went and got some eye products, which I'm very excited about. And um, I am loving at the minute the trend where people are doing like winged liners, but not just your standard black wing. Um, and people are doing like glittery ones or coloured ones. <gasps> love them and um, so when I spotted this I thought oh hello that can go in that camp so it is what's it called a uh, jewel ended eyeliner and this one is midnight chaos is that the shade name or is that the no I think that's the product group maybe yeah okay just go with it midnight chaos and then the shade name is we've got black on one end and mysticalism on the other end which are leaks so, I don't know if you can see it there. So we've got the black on one end, which you would do your normal kind of black wing with. And then if you want to jazz him up, we've got this situation that goes over the top, which I cannot paint. I love doing like a black winged liner and then going and putting like a highlighter over the top. And it's, oh my God, it's amazing. And um, my favorite one is in the Kami MUA Kiss of Fire palette. Oh my God, what's the highlighter called? There's like the green A highlighter. Is it Flash Me? I think it's Flash Me. I think the other one is Opulence and then the greeny one is Flash Me. <gasps> Just put a dab of that over your winged eyeliner. Oh, it's amazing. So yeah, I can't wait to try that one. Then, also, <gasps> as if I can't get any more glittery nonsense on my face. I say nonsense, I mean essentials. Um, so then I've got the NYX Brush on Bling Metallic Brow Gel. Need I explain why that went straight in the cart? I mean, look at it. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna have glittery brows. <laughs> elixir, elixir. I wonder if you can use it like as a mascara as well. Then I went and got this. Now I've used this foundation before. Um, and as I'm looking at it, I'm kind of liking it. Um, so I've used the one in vanilla, which is a really, really good shade match for me um when i went on the website they didn't have vanilla but this one didn't look too bad as i'm kind of looking at it it maybe looks a little on the yellow side which a lot of nyx foundations can look on me but um for filming for doing makeup on camera i have found recently that if i get because i'm so flipping pale if i get a foundation that matches my skin tone it sends my lighting weird it's like too pale for on camera so i wondered if this one would be an okay shade match but would just soften it a little bit for on camera so that's the thought process behind that if you do see me like looking like a lego figure then uh, that's why but yeah foundation wise this has been brilliant it's really really like thick coverage i love a full coverage trowel it on trowel it on but it's really lightweight as well so i really really like it it hasn't um, ever irritated my skin my skin doesn't feel clogged in it and i've had it on for hours and hours and hours never cracks it doesn't oxidize too much so yeah i really really like that foundation so i'm happy to have another tube of it right and these really really excited me i thought these look super cute um and I'd, i'm a sucker for a packaging like this i mean look at it um so we've got an eyeshadow palette but just look at the tin it comes in i mean it's absolutely freaking gorgeous so this one is the whipped wonderland palette love that design on the front it's so whimsical and brilliant i absolutely love it so inside we have got let me take this off because getting a bit glary with the lights there we go right so inside we've got the eight uh, eyeshadows they're quite big as well they're quite huge pans there so sort of nudie colors there and we've got four mattes and four shimmers this one i feel like is the shimmeriest of the lot um but yeah that is just a whole host on me i can't wait to use that in autumn as well i feel like that'll be like the perfect autumnal palette um because we've got some berry tone browns in there as well so yeah elixir, 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 elixir. um i've only recently got onto nyx eyeshadows as well so 
I'm very excited to choose that one. But then I got another one as well, so wait. How cool is she? diva going on on the front love the little cat that's gone with her so this is the paradise fluff palette um same situation but we've actually got a liner in this one as well right so we've got six shadows in this one but more on the um purple color spectrum there so we've got two mattes we've got that cute little mauvey one there and then we've got the deeper purpley brown one there and then these four are shimmers which just look beautiful i mean look at this one how gorgeous does that kind of lilac -y, iridescent one look oh my god i can't wait i would say this one looks more of a satin actually doesn't look matte but it's not quite shimmery so maybe we've got a satin one going on there but yeah love that one and then we've also got this liner that i better can't get out thwarted by my own nails oh we did it we did it we did it oh is it one of the vinyl ones oh we've got a liquid liner in this one for some reason i thought this was oh, for some reason i thought this was purple but it's the black one it's a cool i like that one i love nyx liquid liners i've got a couple of the um vinyl ones that stay really shiny they are beautiful and because it's a really thin uh, brush as well they're super easy to use so yeah love that one i love a set like i love a set in a cute little like packaging or tin or just something i am a sucker for a gimmicky package <laughs> and you can use it again afterwards i think so i mean when i've done with that as a palette that would be the perfect eyeliner storage box lip liner storage box like loose little eyeshadows i think so my favorite thing though that i think i bought from nyx is this situation there is absolutely stunning and also i am very excited about this one i just think she looks beautiful so yeah i'm very excited very excited um so we've got i wondered if it was gonna say the shade names but it's not oh cute it's called lip snacks i think thought i think thought right so that was Monix haul so now on to revolution as we all know revolution are just my absolute favorite they have been for years love revolution love the product love the brand love the people um <laughs> so let's see what i got here i think i went a bit bananas but you know what else is new right so following on with the trend of cute little things um with the kind of delivery note situation if you order from revolution you get something like this so you will have your name printed on there and it will always say you are the revolution i have one above my mirror that kind of just reminds me to be a little bit of a revolution every day so elixir elixir where the hell do i start shall we do skincare first let's do skincare first okay um this one actually i got free so i don't know if the promotion is still going to be running by the time this comes out or by the time you're even watching this um yes yeah, so this came free which is a full size bottle of their egf serum which is a skin conditioning serum which apparently helps rehydrate and condition skin which we all need it does not matter what kind of skin type you have you need hydration especially if you've got oily skin i know it sounds annoying I know it doesn't quite compute sometimes, but you need hydration. You just do. Um, so there, the cute little bottles look like this. I haven't tried this one, so I will report back, but I have used a few of the Revolution serums and I've never had a problem with either of them, with any of them, sorry, with sensitivity. Um, I've used them on Charlotte and she's been absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, I actually use the um, under eye serum, the caffeine and is it hyaluronic acid? 
under eye serum and that has made such a difference to my under eye it was starting just starting to get a bit textured and a little bit crepey um but it seems to have sorted it right out so that's marvelous so yeah anytime i can add to the skincare side of revolution very very happy thank you very much for that revolution sticking with serums i then went and got this um and i don't know why i was expe i was expecting it to be bigger like I was shocked that it was this small, but that's fine because most of my other serums are small as well. So I don't know why I was expecting this to be bigger. Um, but this is the new 1% Bacuchiol serum, which is apparently a new ingredient or it's newly kind of trending or popular at the minute or it's about to. Um, but it says here it's a gentle fine line and correcting serum. So it's apparently very similar to salicylic acid, but is a plant based version of it so it does the same kind of job but because it's plant-based and because it's a bit more gentle it's easier to use it on sensitive skin i love the color i don't know if anybody's noticed but i am obsessed with purple <laughs> so yeah loving the color of the packaging is the bottle purple as well oh it is alexa look at that it's so cute so yeah loving that can't wait to use that vegan and cruelty free as well um i think everything on the revolution roster is cruelty free and most things are vegan so do have a look if that's you know kind of important to you which it should be this one i'm very excited for so this is the revolution pink clay face mask um we've pretty much all seen the australian one and to be honest i'm a little bit you know, we're a budget channel over here, let's face it. We ain't spending a fortune. And I'm very, very unwilling to spend 30 odd pounds for a face mask. Um, but I believe this one is very similar. And I think it was eight pounds, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, very excited to use this one. Obviously, it's, you know, my favourite shade of pink as well. Everything in this house is either grey or blush pink. So I'm very, very looking forward to trying this one. I'm loving the skincare stuff from Revolution. Loving it. And the more they add on, the more I just want to try it because everything so far has been so, so good. So I shall report back. Next get skincare. I can't speak now. Next skincare Sunday. This is getting a road test. Cannot wait. Oh, I also got this as well. The Revolution Pro Hygiene Sanitizing Solid Brush Cleaner. It's not to clean your solid brushes. It's a solid cleaner that cleans your brushes. And um, this I bought mainly for my sponges. I've got um, a spray cleaner for my like, eye brushes, face brushes, but sponges, I really, really find them a lot easier to clean with kind of um, a bar of soap or something of, of this kind of um, finish. So I bought this to clean my sponges. Anybody else get really, really paranoid that you can't clean your sponges properly and they're just full of manky stuff and I just try not to think about it even though I wash them very regularly. <laughs> right, very excited. As you know, I spend most days at the gym. Whilst at the gym, I obviously need to drink a lot. Oh my God, these are bigger than I thought they were gonna be. <gasps> I think so. Um, so I got one of the drink bottles. So cute are these? Obviously I went for the blush pink, like I just said. My house aesthetic is grey, white and blush pink, so I had to stay on brand there. Um, so yeah, I love these. I can't believe how big they are. I thought these were going to be smaller than this. Um, so these are the Revolution drinks bottles. They've got, I think, this one, a marble grey one, a black one and a gold one. Something in my mind says there's five and I can't think of another colour. Maybe white? Maybe there's just four then. I don't know. Anyway, so I plug for this one. And I believe that the kind of bottle that's got something inside that means that it will keep your cold drinks cold for ages and it will keep your hot drinks hot for ages as well. So marvellous. Love it. I don't actually know what the capacity is on this one. I love as well that it doesn't take like 15 turns to unscrew it because obviously at the gym, when I'm like grabbing a drink between sets, I don't, I've just got, you know, a few seconds to throw a drink down. So I like that. It feels so sturdy and so well made. So I'm so excited. I like that. I like that. Right. First of all, I got one of these here body sprays, which aches. This one is Purple Clouds. And it's sort of like a vanilla sort of vanilla and fruity, but I can't put my finger on what the fruity side of it is. And it doesn't say, oh, it says they're marshmallow mist. Maybe, maybe a very faint kind of 
almost toasted marshmallow scent. But yeah, I love it. It's just really, really fresh and nice. I used to get, in the 90s, Jubilee from the body shop, and it's almost like a vanilla and more grown-up version of that, if that makes sense. If you know what Jubilee is, you'll know what I mean. Okay, next, I've got two of the brand new blushes that our Hot Revolution have come out with, and oh my god, they are beautiful. They're all um, slightly shimmery, but not kind of highlighter level, just a very subtle shimmer to them. And they are all fruit inspired. So this one, we've got the peachy one, which just look at that, it's beautiful. And what I love as well is it's a little bit like the highlighter bricks, you know, when you mix them together, you've got kind of the individual colours in the stripes on the highlighter hearts or the diamonds. And then you can, you, so you can get those individual ones, but then if you swirl, swirl your brush in it, you get an extra like bonus colour. I feel like that's what we're doing there. So we've got the kind of lighter peach colour there. We've got the deeper peach colour there. But obviously if you mix them together, we're going to get somewhere in the middle. It takes. So like that one. Oh, but then. Oh, but then. Then we've got this strawberry one. Look how cute that is. So that's obviously got the pinker um, colour to it as well. Um, yeah, I love it. I wonder about mixing these two together. <gasps> Is that acceptable? Can we do that? Is that acceptable? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'll report back and let you know what I think. I think there's a banana one as well. And I can't think of another one. So maybe that's just the three in the set. I'm so well informed. It's frightening. <laughs> right. On to the last ones. You can tell by the look of my face. It's more palettes. <laughs> so I've got three more of the I Heart Revolution palettes. Which I'm very excited about. So inside the packaging is this. So we've not got the um trademark chocolate bar situation but we do have the two red chilies there and it's it's sort of like a rubbery textured feel it feels really cute <gasps> oh but then <laughs> look at that <sighs> oh my god it's so cute i love this and i really hope it's coming out on camera because oh my god these are the most vivid shades ever so all the shade names relate to chilli stuff, as you would expect. We've got this one called Scoville, which is the scale of heat of a chilli. We've got this beautiful red up here called Red Hot, um, which other one is just absolutely calling my name. Oh my God, this purple called Cheeky. <gasps> if that ain't some inner corner shablam goodness, I don't know what is. So yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to play with this one. Then... <laughs> Back to the chocolate themed I Heart Revolution palettes. I got the creme brulee one. Ah, so excited. Um, so this one won't come out of the packet, obviously. So this one, does this not just remind anybody else of Winnie the Pooh? It just makes me think of Winnie the Pooh. Just the colouring of it and everything. Look at him! <laughs> Look at that! That's so cute! So this one I feel is a bit more kind of neutrals than the other one. It's not as kind of bold, um, but we do still have some beautiful pops of colour in there as well. So I feel like this is, if you're into kind of your more natural, neutral eye looks, then this one is an absolute brilliant one. Again, we've got a really nice bold purple, so maybe that's a bit of a trend that I'm seeing at the minute. There are a fairly good collection of transition shades there as well, um, and some really good crease colours, but again, without being too over the top and too um, daunting, if you're into the more kind of neutral look for your eyes as well. <laughs> right, the last one, the last one, and this is the one I'm very excited, very, 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 very excited about. Because I'm going to try and um, recreate a look that's been circulating at the moment. So this one, I didn't even show you the packet, did I? I'm just like getting it out of the packet and getting well excited. So it's the sprinkles one. Look at the packaging. It's so cute. So again, we've got the um, chocolate bar situation, but then we've got all the sprinkles down there. It's just so cute. I just love it. Oh my God, I was not ready for this. Oh my god! Okay, so this is definitely for if you like a colourful, bold eye look. And oh my god! Um, you might have seen if you follow Revolution on um Instagram and Twitter that Katie Eve, um Revolution's resident makeup artist, who is 
beautiful and so so nice um created a look using this palette and oh my god it's beautiful and i've actually got a screenshot of it on my phone because i thought i need to try and recreate this so this is why i've got no makeup on because i'm going to sit down and i'm going to play with this and i'm going to see if i can recreate without fully insulting her katie's look that she did with the i Heart revolution sprinkles palette so um make sure you go and follow me on twitter and instagram because i will post the results yeah every single one of those is shimmers so i feel like this and the creme brulee one would go together so so well oh my god oh and there's a turkish delight one it's my favorite chocolate if you ever want to send me chocolate please send me turkish delight thank you very much there we go that was it that was my enormous um make me feel better when i was poorly last week retail therapy beauty haul from nyx and from revolution i hope you've enjoyed it um if you have please go and give a big thumbs up make sure you are make sure you are subscribed as well like i said in the beginning why would you not i openly invite you to laugh at me as well as with me it's not a problem um i think i provide some entertaining content and it's free and also because i'm only a little tiny channel you don't even have to sit through adverts these days i mean what more do you want so go and subscribe make sure you press the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i post new content you can also come and join the premieres where i will watch the video with you when it goes live and we can chat about it as we watch it and it's really fun and exciting and i just link that um make sure you leave me a comment as well and let me know what your favorite item that i bought was and whether you have it and what your thoughts are on it and if there's anything you can recommend that you think i might like having seen my taste level then do let me know down in the comments um also i need you to remember something i need you to remember that i love you this much from here all the way around the world and back to here again um have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching